All right, Drew. I pulled you over here to talk about, I'm going to say, it's got to be your favorite spot on the court, the corner there. You know the season you're shooting 63% from the corner? That's what people keep on telling me. Number one in the NBA. It's not What's bad. What's the key to that? Shooting them. <laughs> um, if you want to be completely honest, maybe even look at my shot chart for my career, but I don't really, during nor like other seasons, I don't really take corner threes. It's usually no. like above the break and beyond, so. Yeah, this, this is, is double. This, is new. this season, eleven percent of your shots have come from three. All right, so this is from last year. right, and this is new for me for so many corner threes. But I guess I'm pretty good at them. Have you always felt good from the corner? Why didn't you take them earlier in your career? Just because you know, sometimes as a point guard, like you're doing everything from the top, you're initiating from the top. You kind of rarely get to the corner um, at times, or as much as I do. So, um, but yeah, the corner is comfortable. You know, uh, you get there, especially with guys that you play that I'm playing with. Uh, I get wide open shots, so I guess I can't do anything but make them. The crazy thing is, though, it doesn't matter which corner you're in. You hit from basically the same. At the I same guess range. I guess corner is corner. I guess it doesn't matter. To you, has anything changed in your shot? I just think that I'm taking them and shooting them with confidence. I know that obviously shooting, uh, uh, there can be lows in, in shooting, especially during the season. But again, I get so many good looks from the corner that. They're just falling right now. And I understand with this team, that's where those shots are coming from. But it's, I mean, arguably the best, the most efficient shot I in mean, basketball right now. Yeah, there's there's so many weapons on our team that you have to deal with, and I guess them giving up the best, the best shot in in the game right now. To me, I'm not I'm not mad at that. Have you found, and we know that you have a bag, but have you found? where you can get to your bag with this team in this offense. How much more comfortable are you in that? Yeah, I definitely think I found a balance. Um, yeah. I know a lot of times it's a lot of times about a balance of getting guys open, um, screening, offensive rebounding, but then there are times where I might have a weaker defender on me and I could take advantage of that. If that's in the post or coming out of the corner or sometimes in transition, um, but really just finding that balance and, and attacking. Eight of your top scoring games with the Celtics have come since December 20th. Has there been something that just kind of clicked? Um, I think it's just time, you know. Sometimes when you get time with the with your teammates, with the rotation, um, getting more comfortable in, in your role and what you're supposed to do, uh, That I mean, just that comfortability sets in. So I guess since December I've been feeling more comfortable and gradually I can keep on doing it. At the other end, how are you feeling about the stock exchange nickname for you and D-White? That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. No, I, I, I like that one. Um, are you into nicknames? Uh, yeah, why not? I mean, they got cookies and cream with mm -hmm. <laughs> JB. And, and I think this might be the first time I have a nickname. But oh. I think I think between me and D-White, it, it's a good one. We definitely, uh, I think we feed off each other, especially defensively. Um, the way that he defends sometimes, I'm like, I'm amazed. And I feel like on defense, I, maybe sometimes I've done some crazy stuff, but D. White is amazing on defense. He says the same thing about you. I asked him the other night. Are there moments where you two just look at each other and you're like, no, no more. No one is scoring <laughs> I mean, I, again. You know, I got a block last game on, uh, on Jalen Brunson, and I look straight at him because that's usually what D. White does. He usually chases somebody, chases somebody down from – from uh, coming over a screen or something like that and blocks a shot. And I did it, and I was like, see, I'm turning I'm turning into you, bro. I can do it, too. Yeah. Has he kind of reignited that fire for you? I mean, I know it's always been there, but is it different playing with a guy like him? Yeah, I think that um, I think that he gets me to do different things in terms of, like, again, coming off a screen and trying to block, block a shot from, uh, from right off the screen or chasing somebody down and trying to block it at the rim. Things like that I usually leave to the big. Obviously we have like KP, we have Nimi, um, we have Al, we got Luke. But you know what? I could block shots at the rim too. Maybe I'm a rim protector. I think you are. I know D White is, damn it. He for sure is. So uh, I, I think those are different challenges that I kind of find in the game and uh, try to continue to do. Has this defense reached its peak? Uh, I don't think so. Um, I think there's a lot more that we can possibly implement. Uh, and maybe you'll see it here soon. I think there's, uh, again, we just have so many different talents and, and the variety of our team is kind of interchangeable. If it's two bigs, if it's we go small, uh, if it's a boxing one or something crazy like that. So it, it would be, yeah, it, it's exciting to play on this team.
But you're the guy who's really, I mean, typically in a lot of NBA defenses, it's that back line that's communicating that. But in this defense, that's you. Yeah. How much uh, are you enjoying that? It, it, I've enjoyed it a lot. It's been um, different for me because, again, I'm usually the one guarding the ball. I have to listen to the big or the guys behind me. But uh, at first it was new, and it was weird for me to kind of, like, just be yelling at people and telling them what to do. But now I know why my wife, why my wife likes it so much. I was going to say, I personally enjoy that. You know what I mean? I, I, yeah. never, I never Embrace knew. Embrace that. I, yeah, I understand it. Right now. Yeah, just <laughs> yelling at people. Uh, finally, before I let you go, what the Benny the Bull ping pong thing? How did that happen? And was that while we were in Chicago? It was in Chicago. Yeah, it was a little ping pong table set up. You know, a little mini ping pong table. Uh, I think I'm pretty good at ping pong, but you know, it slipped off the paddle and okay. then hit him in the head. I mean, so. those are small. Those were not accidents. Good. Yeah, yeah, accidental accidents. Did he said it? Did he challenge you? How did that come about? And yeah, it was right before. Um, it was right after like we came out for the announcements or whatever. Like they caught everybody's name. And I don't know why. Like I caught his eye, or maybe he caught mine or something. But he was like, "All right, come on." <laughs> but I think it set the did tone for the you? game. He, he hit back. He hit it back. Yeah, he hit it back. I don't remember. Okay. I don't remember. So I kind of after I hit him, I kind of like, like ran off. <laughs> like I'm done here. Yeah, yeah. But you know, I think I set the tone for the game. So. Yeah. There's a ping pong table first. upstairs, right? Yeah, yeah. Do you play? I, I did more when I when I first got here. Um, one of our trainers and KP, I think they play quite a bit. So. Really? Yeah, Who's a, the best? Uh, me. And why aren't you playing? I do I do everything. Top, I saw the top spin though everything. in the return. You saw it? I do a little bit of everything. I don't know. Drew, thank you for the Thanks. time. Thanks.